it's Jessie V. I am feeling so vampire-y today, and my collars have bats on them. Is the camera crooked? Oh, oh. I think we're good. So I know today's theme of video isn't very Halloween-y, but that's okay because we're gonna make it spooky. Because as you guys are used to, I always take something that you loved from your childhood and I make it all creepy and stuff. Hello Kitty was actually a very highly requested video from you guys. And I'm pretty sure every person in this universe knows who Hello Kitty is. She's so adorable. But many people may not know that her backstory is really scary and there are a bunch of really disturbing facts surrounding Hello Kitty. So in today's video, we are exposing those things. But in case there are maybe one or two of you who have no idea who Hello Kitty is, I am going to give you a brief backstory. Created by Yuko Shimizu, Hello Kitty made her debut in 1974. She's known for her red bow and notably no mouth whatsoever. According to her backstory, she is a third grade student who lives outside of London. London. I think that's one of the things that I found most confusing as a child watching her TV shows and stuff. Why did she not have a mouth? Since the character's creation, Hello Kitty has become a media franchise, including a product line of clothing, toys, manga comics, popular music, and a bunch of other media. I'm pretty sure any store you walk into will probably have something Hello Kitty themed. It's just everywhere. Hello Kitty is the second highest grossing franchise of all time. It has generated 80 billion sales. 80 billion. What's really cool is that Hello Kitty's first appearance ever in this world was on a little tiny coin purse. This purse was sold in Japan and it pictured her sitting between a bottle of milk and a goldfish bowl. So the second people saw this little coin purse, they loved her right away. So let's get into some weird facts about about Hello Kitty that maybe you never knew before. So her birthday is November 1st, which makes her a Scorpio, for those of you horoscope fanatics. Her full name is actually Kitty White. Interesting. There is a Hello Kitty theme park in China that got a ton of negative reviews at first. This theme park looks so cool, but when it first came out, people just didn't like it for some reason, but now it's actually doing a lot better. There are actually so many proposals that happen there, so it's a cool park. So I'm gonna answer one of the most asked questions about Hello Kitty, and that is, why doesn't she have a mouth? According to the creator, she doesn't have a mouth so that people who look at her can project their own feelings onto her face. So Hello Kitty will look happy when you're happy. Hello Kitty will look sad when you're sad. Hello Kitty will look angry if you're angry. It's actually really freaky, but it's all a mind trick according to the creator. However, you feel is how Hello Kitty will look to you. Isn't that kind of creepy? The creator says, for this psychological reason, we thought that she shouldn't be tied to any certain emotion, and that is why she does not have a mouth. Wow, so it's almost like Hello Kitty is brainwashing us. A next weird fact is that Hello Kitty is in space. A Hello Kitty figurine was launched into space on a small Japanese satellite. The launch cost 40 million dollars. Wow, I hope Hello Hello Kitty was worth it. The next fact really shocks people, and it did for me as well. It is that Hello Kitty is not actually a kitty. In fact, she is not a cat at all. This is what the maker of Hello Kitty says. This is an actual quote. Hello Kitty is not a cat. She's a cartoon character. She is a little girl. She is a friend, but she is not a cat. She's never depicted on all fours. She walks and sits like a two-legged creature. She is a human. I can't say I see it. When I saw this, I was like, wait, what? No. She's a cat. She's a, she's, she's Hello Kitty, but apparently not. The next really weird thing is that there are creepy Hello Kitty contact lenses. The reason why I say creepy is because it shows people wearing Hello Kitty all inside of their eyes. I mean, do whatever you want. Your style is your style and I'm okay with that. It's just that there were a lot of reports of these contact lenses actually caught causing like infections and stuff. So it says this is for only the most hardcore of fans 
but this seems like an ill-advised idea, and the fact that it's out there is kind of dangerous. I wonder if it'd be weird to look out of. Like, would you see Hello Kitty in your vision? <laughs> the next fact that I found so strange is that she has a twin sister. I did not know that. She has a sister named Mimi who looks really similar to her, and apparently the reason why Hello Kitty wears a red bow is so that her mother can tell her apart from her sister. It says the bows they wear are a gesture from their mother, Mary, so she's able to tell Kitty White apart from her sister, Mimi. So wow, their mother can't even tell who is who. That's interesting. Now let's talk about the creepy backstory behind Hello Kitty. This is an urban legend and isn't said to be actually true, but so many people around the world do believe this and it is very creepy. So according to the legend, there was this mother who had a child and unfortunately this child was diagnosed with mouth cancer. The doctors told this mother that her child was terminally ill and there was nothing else they could do for her, aka she didn't have much time left to live. So this mother refused to give up hope and wanted to try everything in her power to heal her child and eventually that led her to make a pact with evil forces. The pact was that if these evil forces cured her child's illness, she in return would have to create a cartoon character that kids around the world would love, but that secretly resembled something more evil to kind of represent that evil force. I know it's a little bit confusing, I'm so sorry. And it says that's why Hello Kitty's ears look like horns and why she doesn't have a mouth because of what happened to her child. There was even a rumor going around that Kitty is a Chinese word meaning demon, but it's not actually. I don't know how that rumor even started. But basically the creepypasta is that Hello Kitty is a spawn of evil. So, and because of this creepy backstory, so many people around the world have created creepy Hello Kitty fan art. There's also a bunch of Hello Kitty horror characters, so it's just her dressing up as different freaky people from horror movies. There's a depiction of Hello Kitty playing Jack Skellington, Frankenstein, Edward Scissorhands, the Joker, a vampire, a zombie. If you go on Google, you could probably find her dressed up as pretty much anything. The next scary thing, is that there is a Sadako Kitty. I hope I'm saying that right, I'm so sorry. In promotion for the new Ring movie, many viewers of this film were thoroughly terrified by the image of Sadako with her dark long hair covering her face coming out of a television. So to promote this movie, they decided to make Hello Kitty into Sadako. So they combined Sadako's trademark dress and long black hair with Hello Kitty's ribbons. And this scary Hello Kitty went on all kinds of merchandise and people really loved it. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is a creepy Duracell ad that came out. Duracell is that battery brand by the way, but this ad came out to the public and it really upset children. This ad showed basically the skeleton of Hello Kitty with the tagline that says toys should live forever. Meaning that if you don't replace a toy's batteries, they will die. And that's how they were picturing Hello Kitty. But what confuses me is that Hello Kitty doesn't need batteries, does she? Like, why is that on the Duracell ad? But kids were like, no! Don't kill Hello Kitty. I think it's kind of a cool ad to be honest. Anyways though guys, those are all of the creepy Hello Kitty facts that I'm going to be talking about today. If I missed any really cool ones, definitely comment them down below. Anyways, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!